smack dab in the middle of a recent celebration and fundraiser for Chinese adopted children, some athletic performances broke out. Some slow and graceful. Some powerful and athletic. But both disciplines, Tai Chi and Wushu, are tough workouts. It's not something you can just get right away. Uh, like you're running, you feel the sweat. All oh, right, I did an exercise. But for the wushu, first thing you get go into the, the stretchings, the kickings, the balance. Uh, so like that, Tai Chi too, you need a balance, right? You need a controlling, your breathing, your stances. So that's a little bit hard for the beginning to get a patient. I always say, first, first thing you want to learn, be patient first. Once you have that, you can have all. Matt Erlenbush has excelled at everything from Ironman triathlons to ultra long distance running races. And he still can't believe how hard these Chinese disciplines are. This is the most humbling athletic pursuit I've ever been involved in. Um, technique and the, the engagement of your mind in conjunction with your athletic movement is unmatched in this than any other sport I've ever been a part of. And I really appreciate that cognitive component because it's training my mind in conjunction with my body and helping my mind and my body merge and be one. And that's something other sports have never truly offered me to this degree. Tai Chi participants move much slower than their Wushu counterparts, but in some ways, their workout is just as intense. The biggest misconception is that Tai Chi is for old people only. That's, that's, uh, that's a common mis misperception, or that it's boring, or that it's not, it's not fulfilling or exciting, or has something for younger people to enjoy. But practicing the faster-paced wushu does appeal to the athletically-minded warriors. Just ask 25-year-old Rourke Jennings, an avid snowboarder and lacrosse player. Fun, just being up in the air, doing fun stuff, flipping, getting some Gs. Not many other sports stress the flexibility as much. I mean, obviously, you see some of these kids doing a front straight kick, just straight splits, and you're like, like, tear my groin doing that. But uh, also, just furthermore, the reason I kind of like it the most is just it has that element of the mental and like conquering the mind and body and your character rather than just kind of playing a game for fun. David Steeling started with Tai Chi, but the lure of Wushu is pulling on his sleeve. It's actually um, extremely athletic, it's, and um, I, get, I get a physical workout out of it. It's, uh, it's not just mentally challenging, it's physically challenging. 